Hi, let's talk about once again Chimo Centrix Company. And uh, first of all, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking, disliking, commenting, uh, subscribing. And uh, I heard uh, that uh, I do good research and I try to get deep into the research even more. And uh, for that reason, I could uh, possibly, for exception, made another video of the same comedy that I did yesterday. It has high potential to bounce back, go parabolic, as uh, traders say. And uh, yeah, there's a uh, so the one year like uh, share price uh, where the range were somewhere around 45. 265 and yeah mostly biopharmaceutical companies has uh, had the peak in the february mid-february late february 68 dollars per share in uh, well, only a few uh, months ago but currently the price is ten dollars per share so what go wrong and uh, is there any possibilities that it could possibly bounce back to same uh, same prices that it were last uh, month because if it could bounce back even to uh, up to 40 I'm not talking about even 50 because even to 40 you can uh, four times your money so you're not tripling you you there is a possibility that X4 or X5 is possible. I'm not even talking about uh, like X7 because it's it's huge. And uh, yeah, so it's a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that focuses on development commercialization of new medications for inflammatory disorders, autoimmune diseases, and cancer in the U.S. And it develops. Avacopan, so this is uh, the product that uh, they're working in, uh, an orally administrated selective component 5R receptor inhibitor for the treatment of anti-neutrophil cutoplasmic uh, autoantibody associated uh, vasculitis and uh, completed phase 2 trial, clinical trial for the treatment of patients with the server hydronitis uh, superativa as well as patient with the complement 3 glomerulopathy the company is also developing so here's the code ccx559 and uh, orally administrated inhibitor for programmed death protein, one pair programmed death ligand ligand one for the treatment of various cancers. So they had this uh, another product, CCX559, which uh, fights with the various cancers. And uh, there's another one, CCX507, an oral inhibitor of the chimokine receptor CC9, which has uh, complied phase one clinical trial or the treatment for inflammatory bowel diseases. In addition, it develops, uh, here's another code, CCX587 for the treatment TH17 driving diseases and the company was incorporated in 1996 and is uh, has the headquarter in the modern new California market cap is uh, is pretty pretty big 1.9 and currently it's trading 91 percent below the site's estimated fair valuation the earnings are forecasted to grow over 70 percent and as usually as biopharmaceutical companies with mid cap, small cap, they have volatile share price. And some of them had like insider selling and uh, shareholder have been subsequently. Or 
without subsidy have dilated in the past year but anyway there there was a legal issues that uh, there is a, a few few days ago Kessler Thomas Melcher and Czech announced a securities fraud class action filed action against uh, the company and uh, yeah so I'm not quite sure the class period committee is uh, on November 26, 2019 after the market closed uh, announced positive top line data from uh, Pivotal Phase 3 advocate trial demonstrating advocate over standard and care. Yeah, so there's uh, some of the law issues and uh, legal issues that uh, they have currently market performance anyway one year return minus 80 percent but if we turn up the five year so possibly there is possibilities that uh, it would come to the same prices that it uh, were uh, three years ago two years ago and i see here mostly long term uh yeah good return size so where is the biopharma, uh, biopharma catalyst? Uh, so yeah, there's the products, there's upcoming catalyze, um, Avacopan, which is, uh, yeah, there's, um, this is what happened for the stock. It's minus 61 in the trading day. Uh, the mixed response from committee members uh, followed critical words from the FDA early this week that have sent the company stock diving and uh, there's uh, the company stocks have been downgraded by uh, Raymond James uh, and uh, Stifon Nicholas uh, among others uh, Told investors that while uh, he downgraded the stock to outperform from strong buy, he still predicts that FDA approval by July 7. So there's another next day that is announced that uh, possibilities for for the for the for the product, of course, and. Uh, yeah, anyway, I see long term this is on the positive side. It outperforms the industry in the market. The five year return, uh, 173%. And uh, yeah, mostly what I uh, research uh, the biopharmaceutical companies, they does not does not have so many products. So this is very good for the company valuation side. Uh, this is not so accurate as the tip ranks or market watch, but uh, still, I think it cal calculates the fundamentals. So it has good fundamentals, as I mentioned in yesterday's video. Video fair valuation side, yeah, fair valuation one hundred twenty-eight dollars. So ten x right there, based on simple Wall Street. And of course, follow formation should not consider investment advice. You do own research. The best way to do it is uh, analyze uh, the fundamentals. Then there's uh, different investors. Some of them say that uh, it's uh, good to do some of the fundamental research. Another say that it's be better to to see if there's upside or downside or by news or by some of the indicators, trend analyzes, uh, some of the curves, some of the... So the opinions is, yeah, how many, how many people, uh, same amount of the op uh, opinions. But anyway, I prefer, like if you question me how I pick the companies to my portfolio of course i do fundamental research i uh, most likely to like picking the stocks with uh, positive uh, of course earnings and of course they they should there should be revenue so as we can see here uh, future growth is forecasted over 70 percent which is good uh, mostly investors 
and I do recommend only to become investor because uh, as uh, there's uh, some of the research that uh, shows 95% of traders lose their money over the time I I thought I think it was the five year five year frame and uh, that is pretty sad because uh, if you search for the best price on the market it's a big big failure because uh, some of them have, have luck and uh, some of them have uh, have not so much experience because even last year I think every stock from the stock market went up in last year's last year and uh, of course in it, if you watch S&P 500 there there is some of the stocks and the S&P 500 itself could go like two years in a row uh, on the negative direction bear, bearish market it's called and uh, in the cycle so there's a bear market there's a bull market and so on if you watch this company closely uh, five years or it's not even five so seven years ago 10 of February 2012 price were still better and bigger than it is today so that's what I mean by investing a long term if if you're investing in uh, some of the stock that is not profitable you're speculating of the company so you speculate on the expectation on the future so do the company if the company would do a great job to make uh, those products FDA approved and becomes to sell it they uh, the revenues grown the earnings has grown the company is becoming profitable and those who invested in that stage they are mostly common the investors but if you are investing in a company that uh, has the shares outstanding increasing every year if like uh, 10 million shares every year out, like pushes outside for I know that uh, the reason for that is uh, the expansion but for investors do you like the company when you're owning like for example 10% if it push the shares outstanding like twice you're not earning uh, ten percent, you 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 become the five percent owner, and so on. So your por portion of the company is uh, decreasing, which caused the pretty much the share price down, because uh, those companies which has shares outstanding decreasing, so the buybacks are going uh, up down so buybacks going up the company is buying the, the stocks from the market the stock price increase but anyway let's uh, continue with the research earnings per share is growth is forecasted that company could possibly become profitable in the end of 2024 they had there's a some of the June yeah this is pretty good actually minus 0 0.49 so near to the to the positive side I think if that continues we could see see some of the changes on the analyzed forecast and I didn't mention for the for the price targets so currently when the market is closed upside is 
and as you can see in good scenarios even in low scenarios it's upside still 17 percent 12 month forecast so even in bad scenarios it could like do 70 percent which is very good average 33 dollars so upside 200 percent i know many of the biopharmatic technical companies have pretty good upside 170 percent 200 percent some of them had 300 percent in good scenarios even like you see 700 percent and uh, same as the uh, same have market market watch so and it's currently by the way after hours 3.3 percent up anyway the past performance annual earning growth decreased by 11 percent the company is unfortunately unprofitable so if you're investing in uh, unprofitable companies you should not speculate with your whole portfolio not putting the whole every money you have at least if you need the money in future don't do it and uh, I don't like the idea when uh, you're speculating on last mo money and uh, yeah there could be some of the unfortunate could happen if you like one day you invested the second day oh I, I need the money back so uh, oh the stock price went down so you invested if it could could continue to drop so there's a one day drop 40 45 percent the other day three percent up and the next one minus 61 so do you are you willing to take that kind of risks how how would you sleep at the night when you see like your 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 thousand that you invested turns in 500 then from from 500 to some of the uh, 503 dollars or okay 500 and like somewhere around 510 and then once again from 500 to 200 you say wow a few days ago i invested 1000 dollars now it's 200 something minus 80 percent so i i kind of not wishing to anybody see those turns and uh, yeah for how long you will be waiting for the bounce back if all turns good in a few months or in a few weeks or in a few years or in 10 years and how long you will be living with the the stress so that's one of the question that you need to ask yourself what is your risk taking abilities to so are, are you could you take the risk to invest some of the volatile share price that i'm i'm showing and researching and you see all the companies they are they are small companies that are, have little revenue negative negative some of them have negative shareholder equity some of them have debt to equity ratio over 500 percent like fortunately here the debt to equity ratio is six percent it's considered good so they, they kind of clear with the depth and they do have a cash which is decreasing which is like not so good but i i know they the cam all companies have uh, have the research going on they have to salary pay for the for the workers and uh, they have the offices some of the some of them have the research space and so on so there's a many many of the spends that uh, every company have but if you're investing the to the company that is unprofitable what they what they have to do other at least they 
can sh put, put the sh shares outside. Okay, balance sheet looks pretty good, so they have a little bit depth, depth and uh, they're not paying dividends. Let's take a closer look at the ownership. Yeah, and those those investor or insiders that have been selling. So here's the Vifor Pharma company that have been selling. I think they saw it whole portfolio if I'm not sure actually zero percent but that led its last uh, reporting holding date 31st of March and uh, 31st of March July last so yeah actually not there's they they have still uh, 96 million inside the the so they have this uh, company inside of for current valuation almost 100 million but when the insiders sell okay they sold a few months ago when the price went on, on its peak so usually insiders know know what's going on and what's going on with the numbers what's going on with the some of them know if the product get the permission or not and so on so it's kind of valuable data i think but ownership breakdown so when there's a 60 like or even a, more than half institutions it means the company becomes almost super like uh, manipulated and uh, super uh, uh, volatile here we see 71 percent public companies 17 so and actually i'm not seeing here the public uh, general public anyway insiders four pv VCP firm 6 and public company 17 there's on both sides so many of them many of the uh, companies and and individuals have been increasing mostly I see green but uh, there's some of the companies that have been decreasing not so significant so there's no I, I don't see here like minus 100% so they sold out the whole whole every share that they, they had but this drop is uh, i think make a lot of people speculate with it and uh, yeah so here's the dates yesterday fda's advisory committee panelists went through cloudy data while complaining uh, about the design of the phase three trial of the company's Ava Copan. After going over time, they end up without consensus. So there's a next day that is pronounced that I pronounced earlier, July 7th. It's a PDUFA date. Yeah, and there's a downgraded stock uh, performed from strong buy with the price target more than half so the price uh, price target is dropping dropping half and uh, yeah that that is sad but uh, that that is one of the things that happen for the it could cap happen for any buy by by a technology company and yes yeah, so be careful and uh, try to try to not lose in a market in a stock market if you if you lost like learn from it made better decisions and once again i highly recommend uh, to invest uh, in some of the stocks that are from the s p 500 that are making currently money they have real business there they have uh, 
more likely to have some of the assets if the something goes wrong or down there's a high possibilities that they are selling some of the assets they have to ensure the business first and uh, investing.com summary of the stock for long-term investors is a strong sell and uh, if you see weekly strong sell daily strong sell five hours strong sell hourly strong sell 30 minutes same so there's in every every frame we see strong sell yeah so that's why it's highly volatile so could actually be great buy around this range this is basically the range it has always been in until the pump in 2019 by around eight to ten dollars yeah and if you would like to invest in the companies uh, make sure you research like uh, internally so uh, check out the website they have and uh, check the information check the tech analyze uh, there's a lot of risks but I'm gonna ask uh, answer your question Christian Stalder you have a never heard of you but I watched some of the videos Def I had to give you that sub thanks Christian so you made a good choice to pick me up and uh, <laughs> subbing for my channel and by the way thanks all for subbing the channel thanks for liking the videos or disliking the videos you are making uh, me motivated to find that stocks that are uh, stocks with the potential and uh, make sure that your money is in your pocket not others so remember this make sure that your money is in your pocket not others and that is my goal to prevent some of the sad stories so there's a uh, how many how many investors invested in uh, somewhere around here minus 77 And ask yourself, is that the risks that you able to to take? And I'm I'm not dramatizing. I'm not making the drama of it because, yeah, if if currently we're we're back in 2019, 15th of November, and I'm researching the same stock, I would say, how good the stock is, just buy it, and uh, yeah. It, it went like up and how many percentage it need to go up until you sell is it 100 percent is it 200 is it 300 and what's your strategy so define your strategy what are you like day trader i'm not recommending to anybody because uh, yeah the, the research says says another and uh, yeah define your strategy the best strategy i saw in my life it was the the picking 10 or 15 companies from the s p 500 and push the the portfolio by proportions so make sure the companies are mostly five to ten percent one company so if you're buying Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Apple. Make sure they they are on an equal proportions. So if you have have ten percent of each, and if some of the stock, for example, let's talk of weak performance, some of the stock drops five percent, you're just adding adding the the 
the company that is made the least add to your company, uh, add to your portfolio, then uh, try to figure out like uh, are you dividend investor, are you growth investor, it's most likely best to combinate the strategies and uh, yeah learn 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 so and try to not sell on a negative side so i think there's a lot of people who who cannot take this this loss all right i brought 1.5k stocks for long term after second drop i believe this company and i'm glad we got it uh, yeah so at 10.64 per share start buying uh, this stock at 11 dollars per share and thanks traps no joke i love your channel every day new video new stock i love your stock picks many of them are very interesting but the best is that you provide much information every day Thanks traps and thanks for watching the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video and see you in a future one.